and he hopefully realized that on earth is earth and heaven is heaven. The third personality type is the peaceful phlegmatic. Peacemakers, peaceful people. They want to live with everybody in peace and they also love their peace. Every personality has weaknesses and strengths. So these kind of people, if we have to choose a car for them, it will be a bus. If you have a partner like that, they want to make sure that they are at peace with everybody and they accommodate everyone. A bus would fit to most people. Yes. yes, and the bus will not start, the bus will not go until everybody is in the bus. Hmm. So everybody must be in the bus. If it's your husband, you make sure that he doesn't offend anybody to make sure that everybody is in the bus and sometimes it's not possible to please everybody. Best example, it could be Nelson Mandela. Even after what happened, he said, let us forgive and be at peace with everybody and move on. And the other thing about the phlegmatic personality type uh, people is that they do not like to work too hard and some people when they look at them they might think that maybe they are lazy but it's just they don't want to push themselves too hard or ruffle any feathers they are always saying let's work smart and not hard what these people want is respect respect you must respect them the moment you cross that line of respect, they switch off or they can even cut you off. And you will think, but I mean, come on. And you find that, you know, you have crossed a line that you don't want to be crossed. Respect, you must just respect them. And because people think that they can take advantage of them uh, because they are peaceful people, but the moment the moment you disrespect them, a bush, you will see fire, you will see flames, even in that soft person, and they can switch off and even cut you off their lives. We are now going to look at the last personality type, which is a perfect melancholy. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. Yes, and I think I fall under melancholies. <laughs> the perfect melancholies want things to be done the right way. If things are not done the right way, they, they switch off or they just want to pack their marbles and go home. Yep, they don't want to be part of something that's not being done the right way. They are gone. So these type of people, they are always aiming for perfection. They want things to be done right and perfect. Do things the right way or don't do them. They aim for the best. The best. Or nothing. Or all. nothing at all. If you're gonna be mediocre, then they're not gonna be part of that. And they are very organized. Very organized. Very neat. Very organized. They are also detailed people. They don't get lost in details. And their mode of transport, uh, we can choose a train. Cow train. Because the, it has rails, it has electricity, and it must just go exactly according, to, according the to the plan, the rails. It cannot get out of the rail. It must just be straight. As planned a long, long time ago. Yes. You must just follow that plan to the letter. Yeah. Because that's the right thing to do. Yeah. That's the ideal thing to do. Yeah. Their weaknesses is that they always want to do it themselves because they feel like if somebody is going to do it, they might not do it the right way. I did it best. <laughs> if I do yeah. it, it's best. Yeah, and if somebody is going to do it, it may not be the way I want it. They are very artistic and they are very creative. They have a soul. 
they have a sensitive heart they get hurt by people the other weakness that they have is that they, they sometimes forget that this world is not perfect the people that they are staying with are not perfect life is not perfect so because their language is all about perfection they always feel like they are not measuring up. measuring up they are not good enough even if a child or a perfection child if if she or he gets the extinction he will still feel like i could have done better always feel like I, I can do better than this i can do better than this then they always push themselves up to a point where they 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 also crash exactly and um, of all personality types these are usually the most artistic people talented people or the genesis of the world so this is the most intelligent personality type or the genesis of the world but you know we all know that every genius they have serious weaknesses uh, being moody and so forth so yeah <laughs> that's the sad part about the story of the perfect melancholy yeah so an example well if if i were to provide an example of a melancholy to be maybe an angel because melancholies don't deserve to be here on earth uh, because they believe that everything should be perfect and this world we are living in is not perfect so you know uh, that's why they get hurt a lot but i think maybe president halima mutlanti might have been or might maybe he is a perfect melancholy i'm not saying that just because um, his beard is always properly, perfectly manicured. No, but I'm just saying that because Julia has called him a paragon of excellence because he always had standards that things must just be done right. And also because when he was contesting against Jacob Zuma for the presidency of the ANC, he thought things should be done right. You know, you must follow the law, the processes, you don't contest. You don't seriously converse. You must follow the law. You must do things the right way. And um, and he hopefully realized that on earth is earth, and heaven is heaven. Yes. So yes, my friends, we've shared the four personality types, and I hope that you have located yourself, or your spouse, or your friends, or your family member. I also want to encourage you that do not just accept that this is my personality work at it work on your personality and allow god to help you and enable you to overcome the dark side of your personality don't just accept it yes now and then that weakness will come but you need to fight it and you can only be able to do that through the power of the holy spirit we allow the Holy Spirit to help us and mold us and build our characters and don't allow the negative part of your personality to destroy your destiny, to destroy your life, to destroy your marriage, to destroy your relationships. Yes. You must work at it and remember every time and, and, and when you know yourself better, you manage yourself better. And when you know the people around you or your spouse, you can manage them better by by understanding the world that they are coming from in terms of personalities and be compassionate while you are trying to build each other and help each other get out of the dark side of both your personalities the reason we are sharing this is so that you can understand your personality type and manage yourself better so that you can see your blind spots. We need you to take this lesson and then from the lesson, understand your partner better. Mm -hmm. So you understand yourself better, you manage yourself better. Mm -hmm. You also understand your partner better and then you, you then work with your partner in wisdom. Yeah. For example, I'm achievement driven. Uh, my wife wants things done right. So if I want her to do something. I cannot be telling her, oh no, Dali, let's do this because you know we'll achieve a lot. We'll be very, very successful if we do this. It won't appeal to her. Yeah. 
so I need to appeal to her by saying, knowing that she's a perfect melancholy, I'll be saying, this is the right thing to do. Yeah. You know, so if your partner is... Um, Someone, whatever you're going to do, you just tell them it's going to be fun. Fun. If you say we're going to achieve, they don't understand the language. They want you to tell them we're going to enjoy. It's going to be fun. And when you talk to a phlegmatic, yeah, so the peaceful phlegmatic, they are after peace. Yeah. So just make sure that um, whatever you're proposing to do will not trample on anybody's rights yes. or feelings because if it does, they are not going, going to be part of it. Exactly. Yeah. So, yes, my friends, we've shared the four personality types. So um, comment, below. comment below and tell us if you are a choleric or a melancholy or a phlegmatic or a sanguine if you feel you fall strongly on one of these you can just write primary one melancholy and secondary where you felt that one also suit me then that could be your secondary one so yes you can also do a questionnaire we will post it on our website so that you can check it and evaluate yourself which one is your primary and which one is your secondary. We need to get another video done. We need to post on YouTube. We need to get things done. Because it's the right thing to do. It's the right thing to do. Just like subscribing. Uh -huh. Subscribing tells us that you like our content. And uh, when we feel like not doing this thing anymore, if you're subscribing, we'll say, okay, people watch the things that we're doing. People like these things. And then, then we'll do it for you. Yes. Yes, please subscribe and comment if we are helping you.